A labor camp or labor, see spelling differences or work camp is a simplified detention facility where inmates are forced to engage in penal labor as a form of punishment under the criminal code. Labor camps have many common aspects with slavery and with prisons, especially prison farms. Conditions at labor camps vary widely depending on the operators. In the 20th century, a new category of labor camps was developed for the imprisonment of millions of people who were not criminals per se, but political opponents real or imagined and various so-called undesirables under the totalitarian, both communist and fascist regimes. Some of those camps were dubbed re-education facilities for political coercion, but most others served as backbone of industry and agriculture for the benefit of the state especially in times of war. Labor camps of forced labor were abolished by Convention No. 105 of the United Nations International Labor Organization ILO, adopted internationally on 27 June 1957. Topic. Labor camps in the 20th century Albania Allied forces the allies of World War II operated a number of work camps after the war. At the Yalta Conference in 1945, it was agreed that German forced labor was to be utilized as reparations. The majority of the camps were in the Soviet Union, but more than one million Germans were forced to work in French coal mines and British agriculture, as well as 500,000 in U.S.-run military labor service units in occupied Germany itself. See Forced Labor of Germans after World War II, Bulgaria Burma According to the New Statesman, Burmese military government operated, from 1962 to 2011, about 91 labor camps for political prisoners. Chinatha anti communist Kuomintang operated various camps between 1938 and 1949, including the Northwestern Youth Labor Camp for young activists and students. The Communist Party of China has operated many labor camps for some crimes at least since taking power in 1949. Many leaders of China were put into labor camps after purges, including Deng Xiaoping and Liu Shaoqi. May 7 Kadri schools are an example of Cultural Revolution era labor camps. According to CNN, hundreds if not thousands of labor camps and forced labor prisons still exist in modern day China, housing political prisoners and dissidents alongside dangerous criminals. The Standing Committee of the National People's Congress of the People's Republic of China, which closed on December 28, 2013, passed a decision on abolishing the legal provisions on re-education through labor. Cuba beginning in November 1965, people classified as against the government were summoned to work camps referred to as military units to aid production. UMAP, Czechoslovakia After the Communists took over Czechoslovakia in 1948, many forced labor camps were created. The inmates included political prisoners, clergy, kulaks, Boy Scouts leaders and many other groups of people that were considered enemies of the state. About half of the prisoners worked in the uranium mines. These camps lasted until 1961. Also between 1950 and 1954 many men were considered politically unreliable for compulsory military service, and were conscripted to labor battalions Czech, Pomakne Technike Prapori PTP instead, Italian Libya During the colonization of Libya the Italians deported most of the Libyan population in Cyrenaica to concentration camps and used the survivors to build in semi-slave conditions the coastal road and new agricultural projects, Nazi Germany. During World War II the Nazis operated several categories of Arbeitslager labor camps for different categories of inmates. The largest number of them held Jewish civilians forcibly abducted in the occupied countries see Lepanka, to provide labor in the German war industry, repair bombed railroads and bridges or work on farms. By 1944, 19.9% .9 of all workers were foreigners, either civilians or prisoners of war. The Nazis employed many slave laborers. They also operated concentration camps, some of which provided free forced labor for industrial and other jobs while others existed purely for the extermination of their inmates. A notable example is the Mittelbau Dora labor camp complex that serviced the production of the V-2 rocket. See list of German concentration camps for more. The Nazi camps played a key role in the extermination of millions. Japan during the early 20th century, the Empire of Japan used the forced labor of millions of civilians from conquered countries and prisoners of war, especially during the Second Sino-Japanese War and the Pacific War, on projects such as the Death Railway. 
Hundreds of thousands of people died as a direct result of the overwork, malnutrition, preventable disease and violence which were commonplace on these projects. North Korea North Korea is known to operate six camps with prison labor colonies in remote mountain valleys. The total number of prisoners in the Kwan Lee so is 150,000 to 200,000. Once condemned as a political criminal in North Korea, the defendant and his family are incarcerated for lifetime in one of the camps without trial and cut off from all outside contact. See also North Korean prison system communist Romania. Russia and Soviet Union Imperial Russia operated a system of remote Siberian forced labor camps as part of its regular judicial system, called Katorga. The Soviet Union took over the already extensive Katorga system and expanded it immensely, eventually organizing the Gulag to run the camps. In 1954, a year after Stalin's death, the new Soviet government of Nikita Khrushchev began to release political prisoners and close down the camps. By the end of the 1950s, virtually all corrective labor camps were reorganized, mostly into the system of corrective labor colonies. Officially, the Gulag was terminated by the MVD Order 20 of January 25, 1960. During the period of Stalinism, the Gulag labor camps in the Soviet Union were officially called corrective labor camps. The term labor colony, more exactly, corrective labor colony, Russian, Ispravitelno Trudova Kolonia ABBR. It K was also in use, most notably the ones for underaged 16 years or younger convicts and captured besprizorniki street children, literally, children without family care. After the reformation of the camps into the gulag, the term, corrective labor colony, essentially encompassed labor camps, Russian Federation corrective labor colonies Sweden. Fourteen labor camps were operated by the Swedish state during World War II. The majority of internees were communists, but radical social democrats, syndicalists, anarchists, trade unionists, anti-fascists and other unreliable elements of Swedish society, as well as German dissidents and deserters from the Wehrmacht, were also interned. The internees were placed in the labor camps indefinitely, without trial, and without being informed of the accusations made against them. Officially, the camps were called labor companies, Swedish, Arbetskompanier. The system was established by the Royal Board of Social Affairs and sanctioned by the Third Cabinet of Per Albin Hansen, a grand coalition which included all parties represented in the Swedish Riksdag, with the notable exception of the Communist Party of Sweden. After the war, many former camp inmates had difficulty finding a job, since they had been branded as subversive elements. Turkey United States In 2005, the United States Army declassified a document that provides guidance on establishing prison camps on US army installations Vietnam Yugoslavia socialist Yugoslavia ran the Goli OTOK prison camp for political opponents from 1946 to 1956 topic see also chain gang civilian inmate labor program Extermination through labor Memorial Society Penal Colony Topic Notes <laughs>